Uh, two days away from America's birthday, it marks the day the Declaration of Independence was signed. The old John Hancock. And when the United States officially became its own nation. Good for us. Good for us. Uh, behind all of that, there's so much rich history of the holiday. Of course, right here in NYC. That's right. You know, like the melting pot of the world. So joining us live this morning is John Freya, content creator behind here in New York. Hello, sir. Friend of the show. Welcome back to this time zone. I it took a little time to get adjusted to it, but it's nice to be back in New York. You have For a the, nice glow. Yeah. Thank you. The For those of you wonders. who are unfamiliar with John Freya, remind our viewers what you do. Uh, so I talk, take people on a virtual journey of New York City, highlighting hidden gems, hidden history. What mm -hmm. did I say? You make history palatable. I can't say the words, so I'll let you do it. <laughs> it's in his Instagram bio. Go check and it out. And we are, we, are, we are busting his chops because he left us to go to Italy. Italia. Yes. We were wondering if you were ever going to come back. You know, I, there was a thought of just staying there, but I, I had to come back. I you, miss New you, York. You felt the pull of the greatness. He grittiness. is here yes. in New York, after all. Exactly. It's uh, here in Italy. Sounds great, but You look very me. patriotic. Mm -hmm. I try. Ish. I try. I love it. Uh you never disappoint us with food. What, no, are, we, what are we doing for the fourth today? So oh, wow. I brought in two things. Go big or go home. Hold on. <laughs> These are the big dog from Literally. Cobble Fish Pier 16 uh, down by the seaport. Pass me one of those friends. They are us. doing um, a 4th of July family friendly fun party. And what's really cool is that this is um, small uh, family owned. Um, so a it small is, business. It's, 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 oh. it's a family, they family live in the area. owned. Family owned, um, and that is just great. The other thing that I have is that giant cake from okay. Carnegie Diner. Oh. 24 layers. That's what they're known for is their signature yeah. dessert, 24 layer cake. And we'll just make it a little more patriotic, red, white, and blue with some sprinkles around it. Now, which end do you start when you're... When you're I think this is... You have to share this. You share it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, but where, where, is, where are you putting your fork first? Um, I would go here. <laughs> That's a good bite. But okay. there's only two forks there, so... Should we get into the history of the, yeah, the Revolutionary why not? War, why not? perhaps? So, but make know? it sexy? Yeah. Okay, well, there's a cannon in uh, uh, Central Park that was fully loaded from the Revolutionary War for more than 230 what? years. It's pretty sexy. I Yes. So it's located by where Fort Clinton used to be. It was on board HMS Hazar, which was a British warship that ran aground oh. in 1780 in the Hellgate area. The cannon was salvaged, eventually brought to the park, and in t t uh, 2013 it was discovered that that cannon was fully loaded with a cannonball inside, gunpowder, and what? cotton. How was it discovered? They were just cleaning it. The workers were just cleaning it and okay. realized it was fully loaded. So needless to say, it's not like that anymore. Sheesh. Well, good for yes. us. somebody dodged a bullet. Good Didn't. for us. Okay. Now, where in where in the? <laughs> oh my God. Where is in Central Park? Is this? Can I go uh, over? This and... is Fort Clinton, Fort so Clinton. the north end of the park. And now, Fort Clinton used to be a fort for the British in the Rev in the Revolutionary War. The British are coming. And then the U.S. in the War of 1812. Okay. Look at all this history right yes. here. What do you have next for so us? So downtown at Bowling Green. Yes. Mm. That is New York City's oldest public park, but it was also the site of many many anti-England uh, protests during oh. the Revolutionary time. Is that right? There was actually a statue of King George III in there um, on a horse, and there, since the protesters were breaking out over there, they put a fence around it. That fence is still there, which is one of the oldest fences in Hi. the entire city. Um, and in July 1776, when the Declaration of Independence was being read, the uh, Sons of Liberty actually knocked down that statue, took it apart, and it said that it was sent to a foundry in Connecticut, turned oh. into musket balls that were then used against the British. Ah. Ooh, that's Take diabolical. That. Slap in the face. That's, I like that, right? That is. That's petty that's the capital karma. Karma. Uh, What about Washington Heights? Uh, so that is the highest natural point uh, in Manhattan, mm -hmm. and that is Bennett Park, but was also the site of Fort Washington, which was built in 1776 by George Washington and the Continental Army, and it was really the only way that the um, Continental Army was trying to keep Manhattan before it fell to the British, um, but they didn't succeed. November 16th, the Battle of Fort Washington took place. More than 2,000 soldiers from the Continental Army tried to fight off the 8,000 Hessian and British soldiers, but the British won the battle. Obviously, we know who the, won the war, right. but this site is uh, really important because um, this the first woman that fought in the Revolutionary War was here. Hold on. Her name was Margaret Corbin. She was a nurse, and her, she didn't want her husband to go onto the battlefield alone. What? So since she was a nurse. Oh, a she actually took care of the wounded so so uh, soldiers there. Her husband died on the battlefield, she, and he was manning the cannon. She took over and started to shoot from the cannons, what? and she was wounded but survived the battle. Jeffrey, God bless her. What's your source for this? 
a lot of reading. I believe it. He was at the New York Public Library over the weekend. What was her name again? Uh, Margaret Corbin. Margaret Mar Corbin. Yes. What an Corbin. icon. So it was the highest point, so they could see out. They yes, were they, the they had the point. advantage because they, they could the look out and say the British are coming literally. Yes. And also, isn't that also the site of where they filmed, where they shot in the Heights? Washington In and around Heights? that area? I mean, yeah, Washington Heights, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. But that, that specific area. Okay. I'm learning so much, I'm trying to process it all. I, this in, is in every my time he comes brain. on, my brain feels like it's gonna, it's just not big enough yeah. to hold all this information. Do you have another one for us? Uh, the last one is the Marsh Jamal Mansion, which is nearby Bennett Park. Uh, right. That is the oldest home in uh, Manhattan that goes back to 1765. And it was an important site for George Washington because he turned this into the Continental Army uh, headquarters. And it's said that this was a pivotal uh, spot for him that actually won the Battle of Hamilton Heights, which was. Um, Harlem Heights, yeah, yeah. Harlem Heights yeah. which um, happens near where Columbia University is. Oh. Since this is so high up, Go similar Lions. to, <laughs> that's why I said Columbia University. <laughs> I know. Um, since it was so high up, they gave a good vantage point for Washington to win the battle. This is in Manhattan, you said? Yeah. Wow. Morris Jumel Mansion. That's beautiful. Heard of it. Beautiful. I have heard of it. Uh, what are you doing for the fourth, sir? I yeah. am going to a really cool party to see the fireworks. Oh, he's being of a little course. sketchy about so. it. Listen, he doesn't want to tell us. Every time we see him, he becomes a little cooler. Uh -huh. I mean, we always thought you were cool, but you're, you're getting I invited mean, to events that would never even the think The invite to came in. Came in. I, I asked for the invite, so, you know. Can you, can you, can you share any information or no? Is it in one of the five boroughs? It, it's on the water in You're going to be viewing the Macy's. I will on be. On the west side. Yes. Of course you are. He's probably doing it you know from, one of the, from that Circle Line cruise that is more than, you know. S send us notes, please. Yeah. I'll send, send videos. Us. And thanks again for the treats. Enjoy. I'm